My titties hurt so bad. I am hungover as f I know y'all saw that. Growing up, I never saw jumping rope as something that people did for like exercise purposes. I thought it was only something that people did for fun. I have been a professional dancer. I have been on a snowboarding team. I used to be really into double dutch when I was little. I don't think I've even picked up a jump rope since elementary school. For 30 days, we're gonna be jumping rope every single day. I wanted to do the challenge just because it sounded like fun. I love doing different types of moves. Movement. I want to do this challenge for a couple of reasons. The main one just being that I want to get moving more and this seems like a pretty attainable workout. Currently, my only form of exercise is roller skating, which is great. I love roller skating and I don't even do that every day. It's hard to be a fat person online. Everyone thinks that they have a right to your body and the right to have an opinion about your body. That's what I'm nervous about with this challenge. Challenge accepted, so let's get started. Day one test. No, no, no. My titties hurt so bad. Day one, 14 jumps in a row. Not horrible. It's like 10 a.m. right now. Usually I'm still in my PJs. This is definitely already getting me off to a good start. That was 46. 50, okay, I'm done. Oh, well we got to 27 before my jump rope decided to break on me. I think that was like 68. Note to self, definitely stretch beforehand. So taking my little quick 30 second break. I did 49 on my left and 50 on my right. I don't think I can do this two times though truly contemplating my decision to participate in this challenge. This is my first day jump roping like in public. I hope that people don't laugh at me. They probably will. Also, I'm not wearing a bra. In retrospect, I did not do what the challenge said for me to do today. I'll fix it tomorrow. I'll do. <laughs> Full transparency. I am hungover as The mummy kicks were easier than the side to side. Don't love either, but the mummy kicks were easier. Considering how hungover I am, I'm pretty proud of myself. Today's technique is to do 100 boxer skip jumps, 30 second rest, and then 100 jumps running up and back. I watched the boxer jump videos a bunch of times. They do look fun. I just, I don't think I got them down. The running forward and back was nice. I didn't count how many times, but I'm seriously out of breath. <gasps> The boxer jumps just like are not working with my legs. I don't, I maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it like genuinely hurts really bad. So I'm just did normal jumps. And I'm gonna try the run up and down one now. It feels like past the point of just like, oh, it's a good workout. I'm kind of sore. Like it just hurts. Mm, that was almost a disaster. That was 79. And I know for a fact that was better than last time, so. I actually thought I wasn't going to improve at all, but I already have. Okay, I look cute today. 24! Yes! I think that was like 99. <laughs> we have a change of scenery today because I'm dog sitting. Oh, we're done for the day, bud. Oh, we're done. In the Crocs. As you saw, jump roping in Crocs didn't really work. We got 46. It's pretty good. And I think the dog thinks so too. I learned that my right leg is very weak. You guys, let's cram. It is the start of week. Three, weekly test. I'm tired. Ouch. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna get more than 34 or something today. So, oh, rip. 10 more seconds. Should have been counting. 
You're supposed to be counting for me. 86. I'm not mad at 86, I'm gonna be honest. That is an improvement from last time, and it also is on track for my goal of 100. Today's technique includes a 100 jumps side straddle with a 30 second rest, and 100 jumps high knees. I really love the high knee jumps just because I feel like they're super high intensity and they really get the, my blood going. But the side straddle, I just feel like when I'm bobbing around side to side, I just get really annoyed. Okay, day 17, 50 side swing, 50 crisscross times two. We can do this. The side jumps are very hard for me. Two seconds ago, and now it's in a knot. How? I'm killing the crisscross, though. I have to make a confession. I didn't jump rope for the past two days because I went to the beach and I was like really sore from running around. So I'm currently on vacation in New York, but the grind never stops. <laughs> so I'm going outside my Airbnb to jump rope. I'm working out while I'm on vacation, not it. But now, um, it's raining. Also, of course, today is the day that you have to try and nail a double under. Oh, I got one foot under. Ooh. One. I did it. I did one. I did one. I did one. Done. Done. I'm going to be honest. I'm exhausted. Not only have I been in the middle of a move, but I've also been in the middle of finals week. The past two weeks, honestly, have been very much for me. Ah! That was pretty fast. I think I hit somewhere around the 80s. And you know, the baggy pants were a huge factor, but the biggest hindrance were my ankles after four weeks of continue, continuous jumping. My ankles are just not having it. I'm shocked we've made it this far and I only skipped like a few days. That was like 44. Honestly, good job, everyone. I'm really booking for 100, but uh, I think that might be a little bit high of a goal, but you know, reach for the stars, right? 111 straight. Surpassed my goal for the entire month. We still have another week to go, so I might even get more than that. Kind of a magical day. Today's last challenge is to see how many double unders I can do and how many jumps I can do in a row. I'm hoping that today I'll just be able to pull them out and they'll just show up out of nowhere because obviously that's how it works. I know y'all saw that. All right, so I was able to do 105 jumps, which I'm so impressed with myself. I can't really jump very high in the air because of the laws of gravity. We're gonna try anyways. Last day, last day. So obviously that was kind of a fail. I only got 14 in a row after last week getting like, when I get like 40 something, but that's okay because some days are just harder than others. I jump roped for almost 30 days. So like that's a success to me. I just literally did 120, 120. No, for these double unders. Done. I got one. I'm fine with one. I hate it. I'm never gonna do it again. I'm so happy. The first week doing 60 jumps had me winded. I was panting at the camera. But here I am, post 105 jumps. I could do another set of 105 easy. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself for not skipping even though I hated half of it or more than half. I think I will keep her. Maybe one day I'll be motivated to try again. I it won't be any day soon. Would I recommend jump roping in general? Definitely. That's so fun. I watched a video back of me. I'm like the way that my body jiggles when I do it, I think just so cute. <laughs>